Hi everybody Hello. and welcome back to our YouTube channel. We are your hosts Arne and Carlos and today we have a project where we are repairing this beautiful old Norwegian uh, cardigan that Arne calls his uh, garden jacket. It's my garden jacket. But the pattern is... The pattern is from the north of Norway. It's called Norlands Kufta. Yes, yeah, so it's called the Nordland jacket and Nordland is an area in the north of Norway. The Arctic Circle passes through the region, kind of cutting it in half. So parts of it are in the south of the Arctic Circle and then the other parts are in the north of the Arctic Circle. So you have a little geographic uh, idea of where we are when we are talking about this beautiful cardigan. Yes. And it's been worn out. We got it actually originally at a flea market uh, many, yeah. many years ago. And we made a tutorial on how to, to repair the broken stitches. And we also made one where we repair the the thin knit. I'm still working on it. Yeah, so it's a work in progress. We've had, we were checking the comments. Somebody was actually asking why we didn't just line it with some a jersey lining inside. Uh, but lining the, the knitwear is strange. Yeah, lining knitwear is not a good idea. And it also, doesn't... it wouldn't have helped because it was worn on the outside as well. So the idea of lining it so that it wouldn't wear out inside is okay, but then you would have the issues on the outside, which already were. Yeah, you have to repair it from yeah. the outside and make repair the stitches. You can't just put a lining. It's, that would be a very strange yeah. jacket. So no lining, unfortunately. <laughs> no, no, sorry. But we'll, we'll keep renovating and redoing this jacket until it's perfect. <laughs> Today we are going to talk about the placket. Yeah, because the placket was totally worn out because of the buttonholes. It was broken. Yeah. And luckily it's made in one piece. So it's sewn on. Yeah. That's a good thing with doing uh, the placket as a separate piece because then when it's worn out, you can just take it off and put on a new one. And on this one, you can see here's the zigzag from the sewing. And we just leave it like this because then, then it's easy to place it again. We just do it by hand. So no, we don't use the sewing machine on this one because it's, it's easier to just stitch mm -hmm. it on by hand. So and and this is we haven't uh, since we haven't made it we have some surprises here so we found that the rib is actually knitted it seems like it's knitted after mm -hmm. so I placed the eight stitches I think it was the eight stitches from the the placket first on, on the needle and then I picked up the six I think or five six five. Mm -hmm. Five stitches for the what's it called facing. Yes. So when, when you when we make the placket now, this the rib will be with the knit and pearl, and then we have a piece that is knit on the outside, and then of course pearl on the other side. <laughs> Perfect. And, and that is then covering the raw edge. Yeah. And are we going to see a buttonhole as well? That's later. Later first, on. First, we will show you how we do the. Placket. The placket. But, but I will show it on my pedagogisk uh, pinner. Yeah, What's your uh, easy to learn uh, <laughs> needles. <laughs> because this is a plaque, so it's really hard to understand. So I will show you on this one. So this is what I'm doing. And when we do our placket, we like to have a line of stitches like you see on this one. We also did that in a tutorial and some people said they couldn't see the difference. So now we will show you the difference. Oh cool, so you get a lot of stuff today. Yeah, I'm generous today. So look, this is the this is nice stitches and we like the nice stitches. But we saw in an old magazine from the 50s, they said that when you made a placket, you should actually lock the stitches. But we prefer to have the open stitch, but you can choose. But never mix an open stitch and a locked stitch. So to get an open one, you have to be careful not to pull the yarn over when you start knitting. So you put the yarn in the right position and then you start knitting. I know that in English they call it take the stitch of pearl wise and mm. take the stitch of knit wise. I don't think we have that in Norwegian, so we just take it off anyway. You take it off and start knitting. Mm -hmm. So then you just knit the rib and then when you're on the placket 
no the facing sorry the facing this is the one that it will cover the raw edge then you purl on the purl side and knit on the knit side like this and then when you turn it again you have to be careful not to to block the stitch if you want open stitches so you, here's the open stitch but on, on this side the yarn goes directly on the finger and then you just slide it off so we, we never knit the first stitch you can knit the first stitch if you think the stitches will be too loose on this thick yarn it's looser than on a thin yarn so this looks a little bit how you call it Slurvete. Messy. Messy with a thick yarn, but on the thin, thinner yarn it will look good. Now I will show you what happens if you forget to take the yarn away so you don't block the open stitch. And if you mix those then it starts to get ugly. So if you just, on this side where you should put the yarn back, if you just take it this way and start knitting, that's when you get a blocked stitch. So let me go over and then on the back, way back you will see the difference. We also got some comments on my, the way I purl. Some people say that they learned like 40 years ago that they move the yarn over like this and then they purl from this side which I think is harder because you have to move so I, I do it under like I learned from my grandmother also 30, 40 years ago or something so here, here you see I did I did not leave the stitch open so you have open stitches and suddenly the yarn goes over oh yeah if I do it one more time This, then you, yeah. I hope you can see it now that these these are open and these are locked. Mm. And you don't want locked. So you should have one of them, mm. open or locked, but never mix. If I go back and show you how it looks when it's mixed, it doesn't look good. Look now, now you can see these two and. And open and when I turn it now and I do uh, open again Sorry. then you see it looks like a mistake with yeah, these two definitely that's why you should be careful when you turn your knit mm. so the stitches look beautiful yep i can show you on on the original it's very dark so it's probably hard to see but you see i just put i put the stitches from the the placket yeah so you took away the whole thing mm -hmm. and then away you, all of it and you got the stitches from the the bottom rib yeah because this was probably knitted on after i don't know yeah. how they made it but and then, then I just put those um, eight stitches back on the needle. Mm -hmm. and, and then now... I pick up stitches here to make the to make the the placket. No, the yeah, the placket. placket. And yeah. which stitches do you pick up? Do you I pick up pick up stitches in the rib? In the rib. Actually, you have to think a straight line from there and oh. over. Oh, oh, okay. So just pick up as many as you think is necessarily necessary for the for the rib for the placket for the placket sorry yeah yeah no facing that's the right word yeah Just oh yeah it's because you have the placket the ones for the placket are the ones that are there the, the ones the for loose the placket ones. that's the, this loose one and yeah. the facing so how many stitches would you recommend for the facing yeah, for like four for this five? one i could actually have one more but yeah and that would make how many this is six six stitches so you do, you basically pick up all the stitches that are 
here where the placket is going to be and then say uh, six stitches yeah. in so it, it depends on how the jacket was made in the beginning mm -hmm. and it depends on how much you have all the raw edge that you need to cover ah perfect but for this this is seems to be enough for this one and then mm. and then you just start you just start knitting i think this this jacket has been repaired before also because there's a different black yeah on the on the rib and on the um, what you call it on the jacket on the, on the, the body on the stocking net, yeah. yeah yeah but you know it's a it's an old jacket it's been repaired and repaired and repaired and it's kind of like scars mm -hmm. it's uh, just getting older but it's still very nice it's and very nice. usable yeah so now you are knitting no I'm knitting on the, uh, on the facing facing so this. Now I'm purling it because this should be, this is covering the raw edge. But you want to have that cover in stock in it or in knit when you look at it from, from the, when you look at it from the inside. You don't want to have the pearl, mm. a pearl side on top. Yeah. You, you need the knit. Okay. Or if you if you want a pearl, you can do it. But we want we like the knit. Yeah. And then when you come to the rib, you see what's knit and what's pearl. So mm -hmm. you just do the same, knit on knit, and pearl on pearl. And then you just keep going. And then you back keep and forth. going. And you know this time for this jacket, it has it has a women's buttoning. Yeah. And since the one the side with the buttonholes was torn apart, I just do a men's buttoning. Mm -hmm. So when I finish the first side now, I do without buttonholes. Ah. And then I take off the other side and I will put Oh, so it's going from a, a woman's jacket to a men's to jacket. To a men's jacket. I'm so smart. I know. I oh know. my god. And next time I repair it, it will be a woman's jacket again. Yeah. Keep it, you know, it exciting, exciting, variations. Yeah. yeah, no routines. We don't like <laughs> routines in this house. So yeah, one uh, day a men's jacket, the next a woman's. Day a woman's jacket. Cool. And I slip the first stitch off again and I knit on knit and pearl on pearl where the placket is. Okay, so you know what I, I would suggest now, like a cool thing to do, uh, just to do it, is when you finish that round, you do one more and you do it slowly so that the ones that need it slowly can see it. How about that? Okay. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you How take, about that? take consideration to everybody. Okay, now, now I do it slow and then we stop. Okay. Because I don't want to do this on the video. It takes forever. Mm. I do it in, slowly, during yeah. Christmas. Yeah, this slowly. Is, so this is going to be done throughout Christmas and I suppose that at one point we'll be able to post the whole jacket after it's Probably been repaired in spring maybe when it's time for gardening we'll but be... but you see now I'm checking all oh, open stitch so I have to take the yarn behind the stitch and then I start purling so I think in English that that was pearl wise mm -hmm. slip pearl wise I guess or slip as to pearl, I guess. I don't know. Yeah, one of those two. We just slip it. Mm. So are you doing it slowly now? Wasn't that slowly enough? I think so. And then the placket. That's great. Almost no, it's not. This is the brownish yeah. dark, and this is dark. But it doesn't matter. I mean, it's nice that it's visible, that it's been repaired and it's been re repaired and re repaired over and over again. So it's nice. So let's keep it that way. Yeah. So yeah, that, that's it. That's it for uh, keep on knitting for this time. Um, if you have any suggestions of things that you'd like to see in terms of repairing the jacket, remember there's a comment field there below there. 
and you can just put a little comment there. What would you like to see? What would you like us to do? Do you want us to repair another part? Is this something that is not clear? <laughs> you know, just I'm let us know. I'm not repairing the, this rib because this is fine. Um, yeah, okay, we're not repairing the neck. <laughs> but any other comment or any other question or any other thing that you might want to see, please feel free to comment. And uh, yeah, this is it for now. We're going to be back again with this jacket uh, at some point. Uh, we still have loads of things to do. The plackets are going to have to go and they're going to have to be re-knitted. We've also got the cuffs. And the buttonholes. And the buttonholes. So there's plenty to do. So just uh, stay tuned and we'll be back. We'll be back. Okay, see you next time. <laughs> Bye. Bye.